what if the Chicago Blackhawks drafted right from 1991 to 2002? From 1991 to 2002, the Chicago Blackhawks did not draft very well. Because they didn't draft well, they were a bad team from 2000 to 2006. In this episode, I will go back and fix the draft mistakes made by the Chicago Blackhawks. In 1991, instead of selecting Dima Cameron 22nd overall, they should have selected Ray Whitney. At pick 44, they should have selected Yannick Perot over Jamie Matthews. With pick 88, they should have selected Mario Strakowski over Zach Boyer. In 1992, instead of selecting Sergei Krivokresha 14th overall, they should have selected Sergei Gonchar. At pick 36, they should have selected Manny Fernandez over Jeff Shantz. With pick 89, they should have selected Ian LaPerriere over Andy McIntyre. In 1993, instead of selecting Eric Lecomte 24th overall, they should have selected Brendan Morrison. At pick 50, they should have selected Pavel Dimitra over Eric Manlow. With pick 54, they should have selected Andrew Brunette over Bodon Svenko. With pick 76, they should have selected Hal Gill over Ryan Pushka. Chicago Blackhawks still end up drafting Eric Dowser. In 1994, the Chicago Blackhawks still end up drafting Ethan Morrow in the first round. With pick 40, they should have selected Jose Theodore over Jan Javi Slavo. With pick 85, they should have selected Tim Thomas over Steve McLaren. In 1995, instead of selecting Dmitry Nabokov 19th overall, they should have selected Alessi Morozov. At pick 45, they should have selected Jan Herdina over Christian Laflamme. In 1996, instead of selecting Jeff Peters 46th overall, they should have selected Zidane Chara. In 1997, instead of selecting Daniel Cleary 13th overall, they should have selected Scott Hanna. With pick 39, they should have selected Jason Chimera over Jeremy Wright. The Blackhawks still end up drafting Kyle Calder. In 1998, instead of selecting Mark Bell 8th overall, they should have selected Scott Gomez. In 1999, instead of selecting Mikhail Kuleshov 25th overall, they should have selected Radim Verbata. In 2000, instead of selecting Pavel Borobiev 11th overall, they should have selected Ron Hainsey. With pick 49, they should have selected Antoine Vermette over Jonas Nordquist. In 2001, the Chicago Blackhawks still end up drafting Tuomo Rutu in the first round. With pick 50, they should have selected Kevin Bieksa over Matt Keith. In 2002, instead of selecting Anton Babchuk 21st overall, they should have selected Alex Dean. The Blackhawks still end up drafting Duncan Keith. Chicago Blackhawks still end up drafting Eric Daze, Ethan Morrow, Kyle Calder, Tuomo Rutu, and Duncan Keith. To better balance out the lineup, some trades will need to be made. Tim Thomas, Alexei Morozov, and a second round pick in 2003, David Backus to the Pittsburgh Penguins for Alex Kovalev, and a sixth round pick in 2003, Yaroslav Halak. Tuomo Rutu, Radim Verbata, and a first round pick in 2004, Cam Barker to the Minnesota Wild for Marion Gabbert. Eric Daze, Ron Hainsey, and Kyle Calder to the Dallas Stars for Zergei Zubov and Manny Malhotra. Jan Herbina and Marius Tchaikovsky to the Washington Capitals for Dinah Zubris in a third round pick in 2004, Andre Sikara. Kevin Bieksa, Ethan Moreau, and a third round pick in 2004, Andre Sikara to the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim for Ola Tabrowski. This is how the lineup looks like at the beginning of the 2002-2003 season. First line, Pavel Dimitra, Scott Gomez, Alex Kovalev. Second line, Ray Whitney, Brendan Morrison, Marion Gabbard. Third line, Andrew Brunette, Yannick Perot, Dinah Zubris. Fourth line, Jason Chimera, Manny Malhotra, Ian LaPerriere. First defensive pair, Zdeno Chara, Zergi Zubov. Second defensive pair, Scott Hannon, Sergey Gonchar. Third defensive pair, Kyle Gill, Oleg Tavidovsky. Both tenders are Jose Theodore and Manny Fernandez. There are very good prospects in the system too, like Alex Dean, Antoine Vermet, Duncan Keith, and Yaroslav Halak. With the lineup that Chicago Blackhawks have right here, they would be in position to contend for Stanley Cups, but they would not get Jonathan Taves or Patrick Kane. Next, what if the Toronto Maple Leafs drafted right from 1985 to 1997?